what I'm hearing from you, Aaron, is social pragmatism helps you to solve actual problems in the world. Yes. You mentioned this disposition of attending to reality yeah. and cited that that triptych of facts and meaning and doing. Yeah. And it strikes me, just a side, a side note here, listening carefully and attending to reality, this is a lot of what pastors do. Oh, amen. Right? Yes. Right? <laughs> yeah. Like, pastors are kinds of ethnographers because you're yeah. also describing the participant observer mm -hmm. in the ethnographic or anthropological realm. Mm -hmm. they're, care they're carefully attending to these particular pockets of reality, mm -hmm. this inductive approach you were talking about. And then the philosophical payoff is this sort of inductive, empirical, descriptive discipline then begins to dissolve yeah. some of the preconceptions or binaries that we began with. Did you want to comment on any of that? No, I think that's I think that's right. And this is why I love being in conversation with you, David, because you you are such a wonderful um, and clear thinker about this stuff. Absolutely. And 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 applying it to people people of lives so quickly. Like, yes, amen. This is pastors are already well on their way to to thinking in line with community organizing strategies. I think that's very clear. Um, and I think they already understand that ideas are tools and they can see how it is that people um, use theology in their lives. Um, there's this is why it's, you know, in, in popular discourse, people think about bad theology and the and the power of it, right? Theology is ideas if the ideas are tools, they're you know, you can you can they're they're not always used for good, right? Um, and so we need to, right. to marshal them in, in ways that for our, for our ends. But then this also tools when, when you end up like attending to reality, um, facts also then become a lot more complicated hmm. because it's not um, you realize all of a sudden in any congregation will we'll understand that that you know something happens in a congregation and 20 people see it and you've got 20 different per perspectives of what has happened. And so all of a sudden the multiplicity of our world, the, the, the thickness and layeredness of meanings become textured really, really very quickly. And, and meaning then ends up cashing out in, uh, in use. And so, you know, the concepts and the way we talk about what it is we do is a socially structured process. And so talking about how it is we talk about what it is we do is, is really important, right? It's how are the shared meanings of what does it mean to be a church? What does it mean to build power? What does it mean to be called to do this, uh, to, you know, to, uh, to attend to the spirit? Um, what does it mean to say something is an injustice? All of these are really viable questions because then it calls the congregation to attend to each other and then discern together and then move together and then act together. Um, 